welcome back to my channel. This is one of my favorite videos to film for you guys. As you can see from the title, we are going to be talking about hot new palettes. Now, I went back in my video feed and checked to see when the last time I did one of these videos was and it has been a hot minute. So I thought it would be so fun to recap some of my new purchases for you guys. Now, some of these I've already done reviews for, swatch parties, I'll try and throw all of those up in the cards as we go along so you can check them out. But without further blabbering, I just want to remind you guys, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, go ahead and do that down below. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram as well. My handle is Karen Harris Makeup. I usually upload every other day, so you do get quite a bit of content from me. So I hope that you will subscribe to my channel. And uh, let's get into the video. Okay, so the first palette I picked up, and this has been out for a while, and I believe it is sold out, but I did want to talk to you guys about this. I do have a review of it on my channel. I will go ahead and link it for you guys. This is the Muschino collab with Sephora and this thing was hard to get a hold of guys. I think it basically sold out the same day it came out. I don't know if they're planning on restocking this but you know how the world works when it comes to limited edition. You might end up seeing this somewhere so if you are interested in it I would keep an eye out on Trend Mood for sure as well as Sephora's Instagram but I really like this guy. Honestly I don't even really use the shadows. It was definitely more of a collector's item for me and I I do not regret purchasing this one bit unfortunately. I love it and I think it's super duper cute. Next palette. This was kind of one I had planned on not buying but I did end up picking this up because I did swatch it at Ulta and this is a good deal guys. This is a $20 palette and it was an Ulta collab with the YouTuber Melissa Michelle. I used to watch her channel. I don't really watch it much anymore but I did end up picking this up with some girlfriends because Ulta does buy to get to free. So basically we bought four palettes and we each got a palette for $10 which was a steal. So if you're looking for a really good Christmas gift idea, I think this is going to be right up your alley. I did swatch this palette in store. It is super buttery. As you can see I haven't played with it yet but I know this is going to be a really good palette and I'm so pumped that I have it. I do want to film like a first impressions for you guys or like a makeup try on with this. So that's what I'm saving this palette for but it's so cute and honestly guys it reminds me so so much of the new Laura Lee palette that's coming out the one called Cat's Pajamas. I will pop a picture up in the corner here so you can compare the two but I do think they're very very similar except this is like way cheaper and I know the quality of this is really good. Next palette I love is this one. This is again from the Mischino collab and I did use this a couple of times. Definitely you know fell in through the cracks as it's not one of my newest palettes but it's so so cute. Great from the go with these. There's six shades in here and it comes with a really cute mirror and of course the packaging is adorable. Again this is really a collector's item but I will definitely get some use out of it. The next palette I want to show you guys, I just put up a swatch party video of this. This is the Kat Von D Saint and Sinners palette. I don't have a review of this up yet because I honestly have not even put this on my eyes yet. I have so many new palettes to play with but this is what the inside looks like. I will link the swatch party in this video for you guys so you can check that out if you are planning on purchasing this. I really quickly would just say if you're not into crazy colors I would stay far away from this palette. I feel like I definitely am a connoisseur of eyeshadows but this palette honestly scares me. I don't know if I'm in gonna end up keeping it because the colors are just like you know it's a lot of it's a lot of crazy. <laughs> That's how I would phrase that. Next let's talk about a face palette that I picked up recently. This is the NARS Bord de Plage palette and I love this palette so so much mostly for this highlighter shade right here. Uh, this palette is really pricey to buy just one highlighter but uh, I couldn't help myself and it's like the butteriest highlighter I've ever seen. So this is the NARS face palette and I did see a preview of the NARS holiday lineup. There is a beautiful highlighter shade in that lineup which looks very similar to those highlighter shades I was showing you in that palette. So it might be a dupe. I don't know if you guys are interested in the highlighters in this palette. I would maybe wait for NARS's holiday collection because you might end up scoring the highlighter for a little bit cheaper. 
but I'm not sure if it's the exact same shade, but it looked very, very similar. Next palette I did pick up is the Natasha Denona Lila palette. That's how you say it. And this is what the inside looks like. I have a swatch party, so I will, you know, link that down below. I honestly don't really like the shades in this palette. I'm not really a purple person. And I feel like if you're a purple lover, this is going to be right up your alley. But honestly, this palette kind of bores me. I haven't played with it enough yet, which is why I haven't reviewed it for you guys yet. But I will keep playing with this and we'll see how it goes. No promises. It's a little bit, it's a little bit of a snooze for me. I'm definitely more of a warm tone kind of girl. And the purples in there, I don't know. I just don't love it. Next palette is this guy by Makeup Geek. This is the, is this called the Nude Palette? in the nude palette and this has been out for a while but I recently picked this up and I must say this is like the perfect nude palette there's a little bit of warm there's a little bit of cool there's a little bit for pretty much every skin tone in this palette and I had mentioned that I think this is such a great look for every day or bridal or basically a must have in any makeup artist kit I was watching Shaylee uh, here on YouTube I love her channel I will try and remember to link that down below she was showing this palette and then she basically sold me on it because I knew I wanted it but I was like no I don't need to spend $50 on a palette Luckily, it did go on sale ar around Labor Day weekend, so I did pick it up on sale, but I do really like this, and if you're looking for a good everyday neutral palette, I would totally recommend this Makeup Geek palette. Next palette I have not played with yet. This is the Beauty Bakery Neapolitan Ice Cream palette, and I just thought this was so cute. I saw it online on Forever 21's website, so I decided to pick it up. These shades, you know, they just call my name. This one reminds me of a more toned down version of the Queen of Hearts palette. So I don't know, this palette was pretty expensive. It was like in the $40 range. And Beauty Bakery, I believe, is a black owned brand, you know, an indie brand. So I was expecting a little bit more affordable from them, but we will see. I will eventually end up using this. Right now, it's kind of on the back burner because I have so many holiday palettes and limited edition palettes that I need to play with first. Next Next is the Huda palette. Now this is the palette I'm wearing on my eyes. This is the first day I put this palette on. I've had it for a couple of days but we did go on vacation so I just started playing with it and so far I love the shades guys. Honestly you can see it in my swatch party. I literally died of happiness swatching this palette. It is definitely very dusty and crumbly so a lot of product is wasted. Something to keep in mind. It kind of has that it's not as bad as the subculture, but there is quite a bit of kick up with this palette, so definitely keep that in mind. It's not cheap, it's $65, but I am really glad Huda made this available on the Sephora website instead of doing like a launch on her website and then waiting like a month before it launched on Sephora the first time around with the rose gold palette. So I'm really glad she released this worldwide all at once. I'm not sure how I feel about this yet. I definitely need to play with it more. Overall, I love the colors, but I'm not sure if I would 100% recommend that you run out and get this. So if you're interested in hearing my thoughts on this palette, definitely check back. Another drugstore palette I picked up, and I don't know why I bought this because I really don't see myself using this. Um, I have a problem, guys, obviously. This is the e.l.f. Holy Smokes palette, I think it's called. It's their Mad for Matte 3 palette, and these sell out so quickly, so I decided to pick this up, but I have the Mad for Matte 2, and I'm not really a big fan, so I don't know why. I was drawn to this. I think it was just because it's like $10. I was like, oh, I'll just buy it and keep it. I mean, what kind of beauty guru would I be if I don't have every affordable palette? So I bought it, but mm, I haven't really been, you know, drawn to it at all. So this is the Carity Just Peachy palette. Again, this is a new one that kind of fell on the back burner because I have so many of the other palettes to play with. Now, I've heard a lot of people say this is what they were expecting when they heard the Too Faced Peach palette was coming out, and I must agree. These shades are beautiful. I don't know anything about this brand. I literally think I saw them on Instagram, and I was like, you know what? I love trying out different brands, things that are not so mainstream. I did try to look up some reviews, but I didn't see any really with my skin complexion. So I'm definitely waiting to do like first impressions on this palette and test it out on my eyes. Hopefully the pigmentation will blow me away and I'll be able to recommend this palette to you guys because it's a $25 palette, which I think is very, very affordable. So very excited for that palette. Uh, and then I did pick up the Viseart Golden Hour palette. I love this pack 
packaging. I did wear this palette on my eyes yesterday, I believe, and it was nice, but honestly, Mm, I mean for $45 I don't think this is worth the money I really enjoyed like swatching this I have a swatch party I'll link it down below for you guys I will probably do a full review for you but I feel like there's better palettes out there I have a feeling this is gonna go back to Sephora but I did kind of like jump the gun and buy it when I saw it was out on Sephora's website because I do love Viseart. I have quite a few of their palettes. Next is the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Edit Palette Volume 3. Now Hourglass has been doing this for the last couple of years. As you can tell this is the third palette they've come out with. I did pick up the first ever palette and honestly guys I don't really use this one at all but I did start using it in my kit on much lighter skin people than me and I was using this on my friend Kelsey and I decided to try the bronzer on my face and I think I'm lightening up now that we're going into fall and it looked really beautiful so then Sephora announced that this was on their website and I totally like freaked out and bought it because I wasn't planning on buying this palette because it's an $80 palette which is pretty freaking expensive. I must say I do like the shades in the third volume better than the first one but I feel like this will be really useful in my kit and then this one I will probably continue to use for myself. I'm actually wearing the blush from this palette on my cheeks today and I did get quite a few compliments so if you're interested in trying out Hourglass, I would 100% recommend. I was planning on buying the bronzer just on its own because I thought the bronzer looked really good on me. Unfortunately, that bronzer is like 50 bucks, so I figured I might as well buy the palettes because it's going to take me forever to get through both of these. Okay, and then the last palette I want to talk to you guys about is the ColourPop I Think I Love You palette. This, honestly, I can't say enough good things about it. I have a review on this uh, with like a little get ready with me for you guys to check out so I will link it down below but this palette honestly if you get one palette from this video make sure it's this one it's 16 bucks it swatches like a dream it applies like a dream I just went to Texas with my husband and this is the only palette I took and I think you can make really really interesting looks day or nighttime with this palette because there's a bunch of glitters and then a bunch of neutrals that are basically every shade you need so Colourpop has come out with three palettes so far and this is without a doubt my favorite palette from them. Okay guys, that is everything I wanted to show you in my hot new palettes video. Let me know if any of these palettes caught your eye. If you picked any of them up, definitely let me know your thoughts. Especially with the new launches, I'm so so curious to hear what you guys are thinking. Thank you so much for watching guys and I hope you have a great rest of your day. Bye!